Good morning, folks. We took an unexpected CME impact at Earth yesterday, and it triggered moderate geomagnetic storm activity. We're going to go over the rough week in northern Africa and the discovery of two new Earth-like exoplanets, but we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. After a couple days of increased M-class solar flare activity, it was a step down into quiet, with a lack of eruptions in the filaments as well. There are still several active regions and plasma filaments we'll be watching here, but the space weather story occurred just a bit after yesterday's show, when the magnetometers began showing sharp and significant variations, indicating something was happening in the solar wind. An interplanetary shockwave from a CME was detected by solar wind satellites, certainly a stealth CME which happens without a flare when the uppermost magnetic fields break out releasing plasma into space, and while it was not too scary, it was enough to disrupt the magnetic field and drive low to moderate level geomagnetic storm conditions. Those are waning back this morning. We've got another small CME on the way due tonight or tomorrow, and we are watching the sunspots and large snake-like plasma filaments in the corona for more eruptive activity. Well, folks, it has been a brutal week for Northern Africa. The death toll in Morocco is nearing 3,000, with many buildings having crumbled in the big earthquake. But as the world was focused there, a major storm hit Libya. A Mediterranean hurricane had a rapid intensification event right as it was impacting the coastline. The footage is too brutal to show here, but officially, over 5,000 are dead, with nearly double that still missing. Prayers for those affected. Folks, two new exoplanets have been discovered around a star only 15.8 light years away. They are Earth-like planets with masses between 1 and 1.4 Earths, and they receive radiation from their red dwarf star between that received by Earth and Mars. They're planning several follow-up studies of the rocky worlds to see if water can be confirmed in the atmosphere or any signs of life. Folks, on September 23rd, not this Saturday, but the next one, a family-friendly observer event will happen in Colorado Springs. Several of you already have your tickets, and I look forward to seeing you out there for a fun midday experience. We greatly appreciate your support. Links are found below the video. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.